Hey everybody, Dead Star here. Um, I've recently been watching just some random YouTube videos, and lately there's a new game that apparently has been going around called Scrap Mechanics. I went out, got it, and a lot of people, a couple of people, were questioning uh, the trailer idea, the semi-trailer kind of idea. I believe I've come up with an idea, but you I don't think we can link it from one car to another. I don't know. No. They're not I wish that was possible. You can link things to one car to another. That'd be really cool. Um uh, wirelessly connect to one another. But yeah. Um fully functional trailer. First, I would make the bed a little bit longer, and it's not too what I would. I just quickly toss this thing together to see if it, my idea would work, and it did. It turned out really well. So, here, yeah, let's get rid of this here, so I can open hand. So let's put down the. Oh, for some reason it doesn't want to work for me right now. Nothing does. Why is that? Okay, so let's just go with this right now. Alright, so for at first I was thinking of just like a kind of clasp idea. So or a belt that wraps around a um, connection like this. So it just wraps around this and the top piece holds it in place. But as we all know those these um, junctions here aren't the best in the world. They work, they function, but um, the further you get away from that point, the um, more questionable it gets. So I wanted to keep it short, quick, and easy. And the more you have in a sequence, the more sketchy it gets. But so I'm like, how's a way I can grab the thing without having an extremely long arms or extensions or connections? And a lot of people just connect it with a, so they'll just go straight up, put a, one of these guys in, um, one of these guys in, and toss that on top, and there's your trailer, there's your full car right there, okay, whatever, and it's easy, it's the easy way out, but I wanted to be able to disconnect it and switch it out to a different one, so I have one for hanging out with buddies, so inside it's chairs and stuff, and the other, I have another one for, like, foraging for items, so you have crates, you have food resources, you... You have all that, pallets, and all industrial look. So, having those varieties and stuff, always having to swap it out and stuff. Screw that. Make two trailers. Uh, so, this is what I came up with. Um, I originally just had these go up in a little 3x3 three three, uh, connection piece. Uh, but, when I would hook this on... Uh, here, let's close these it creates a perfect little square and that that and having a, another square in there just locks it in place and you can't do it and it won't turn you can't spin or anything so um i didn't figure that out until so i first thought it was the top piece here so i swapped it out for a tire and i also put a bearing in but uh it still was doing the same thing. So then I went into inventory and started looking around for different things that might work. And I found the pipe short. So I placed that down. And it is round, so it just spins around inside, allowing me to turn. So now I can literally just hop in my thing.
back it up in the spot, roughly, pop out, hit the button, have it hook on, and it's very tolerable. Put the arms up, pop back in, and off we go. Now, a quick thing, um, I only have one engine on this thing, and you have to have it at a decent Decent amount, decent amount, because normally I have it down here on three, because these engines are so powerful. But it it puts in at like double the weight, uh, triple the weight or something. And I don't know why, but so you have to really increase it to get that same kind of speed that you want. But if you go too fast, get too much speed going. Your front wheels are really left off the ground and you can't see. So you have to find that right amount for your vehicle. Driving your 18 wheels. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I wanted to just notify you guys on and show you that it is possible to have a second to have an actual trailer in this one. So yeah, I'll catch you guys next time when I find something else that's uh, or find a little fix for one of you guys' issues. Toodles! <laughs>